if you are an extreme foodie and want to know where are the best spots to chow down in Central Alabama, then get ready for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Joy takes you up and down I-65, 459, and all places in between. She searches out the best eats and the sweet treats. She even has a little something to wet your palate. So get ready to get hungry as Joy make your taste buds water. Growing up in Mobile, Alabama, there is nothing like fresh seafood. And when I want to get a taste of home, all I have to do is come to Cahaba Heights because there's a new Wenzel's Oyster House that is open. If you're in the Cahaba Heights area, dinner is about to get a little tastier as Wenzel's has finally opened. You can get amazing dishes like this seafood pasta dish and one of their other popular dish, this red fish with rice topped with their bimbo sauce. But one of the other popular appetizers that I learned about at Wenzel's was their fried green tomatoes. Fresh green tomatoes sliced up and then we put a crawfish julie on top and this is probably, if not, right at the top of our most infamous appetizers we have. People love these things. So I saw those crawfish in here looked all yummy. Mmm. Dude, you want to give me a bowl of this? I told you, didn't I? That sauce is so good right there. Yeah, it this, if you really love fresh mm -hmm. seafood, this is everything right here. It kind of reminds you of like a gumbo with mm -hmm. crawfish in it on top of here. And then this hot, freshly cooked fried green tomato. This is everything. Yeah, this is definitely not a frozen tomato. That's it. So can we make this uh, appetizer and entree? Or is this it right here? Now this is it. It's an appetizer. Yes, ma'am. So when That's I come right. in here, I'm going to have to get two of these. Mm, if you need to. And then a dozen of them oysters. Char grill. Yes. So since they're char grill, mm -hmm. that should be healthy. So that way I won't get fat. That's right. Yeah. So we want to see y'all here at Wenzel's with this delicious fried green tomato and this crawfish sauce, y'all. This is everything in here. Hey, and when you come, get me a cup of this sauce. I'll meet you outside. It's so good. Now, I can't talk about Wenzel's without talking about their oysters. And all right, right now we're we're gonna add our lemon uh, our pepper butter sauce. We're gonna let that sit for a little while. Have a blend of uh, Parmesan and Romano cheese mixed with parsley. Uh, maybe three or four minutes, then they'll be ready. There you go, char grilled oysters. I've acquired a taste uh, different ways to cook oysters for, for customers and for myself. You know, when I started the company back 10 years ago, uh, I, I only ate them raw. You know, I, didn't, I didn't realize that there were so many ways that you can cook them. Oh, now that is good. The char grill, mm -hmm. that nice it's got a sort of flavor. flavor. Yes, you like that I love that That's and it. the mozzarella mm -hmm. cheese. I love cheese. There you go. These are amazing. You said, you said mozzarella. That comes from the Parmesan now. Well, I knew that. I was checking you out. Okay, I just want to make sure it was on the same page on which yeah. he was to look at and go, That's mine. Ain't no more. Yeah, yeah I just want to say you were paying attention over here. See if you know your cheese. Every now there. and then. And after the break, I'm going to tell you about the other flavor oysters that's on the oyster sampler platter at Wenzel's at the newest location in Cahaba Heights. Hello, ladies. It's that time of year again. Here's my dreaded scale, and I know many of you are not ready to get on there, but I'm Dr. Mia, and I want to help you reach your goals for the summer. Come in to me, Bella Wellness Center, so that I can write an individualized weight loss plan for you, and you can get those Lipo B12 injections so you have the energy and the increase in your metabolism. Please give us a call today at me, Bella Wellness Center, 205-995-1009. Swamp Monster Barbecue in Hoover, Alabama has the best flash fried wings in town, along with their fall off the bone ribs that are cooked in a secret dry rub and homemade white barbecue sauce. Swamp Monster Barbecue also has farm raised gator bites. Swamp Monster Barbecue is open Monday through Saturday. You can dine in, order catering, or find the food truck for some monster butts and delicious sides. Swamp Monster BBQ is located in Hoover on Montgomery Highway, about two miles from the Galleria. 
Are you frustrated with your natural hair, but want beautiful, luxurious natural hair that is perfect for work and play? Book your appointment at Haya Beauty, located in downtown Birmingham. Haya Beauty specializes in natural hair care, such as coils, curly sets, twist locks, coloring, and extensions. Haya Beauty has appointments Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can book online at HayaBeauty.com or 205-703-8022. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Comedian Joy, and I've been telling you about my food tours, Eat, Drink, Ride. Well, now I got my very own bus. You see the one with my picture on it? So now I'm offering food tours every weekend and during the week. So if you're having a special occasion, corporate event, birthday party, girls night out, bachelorette party, go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and book your food tour. We also have improvement tours starting August 30th. So go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and let's what? Eat, drink, and ride. Before the break, I took you to Wenzel Seafood House at their newest location in Cahaba Heights. It's located about a mile from the summit, and there you can get all of your seafood favorites, including their fried green tomatoes that's on the appetizer list, and their array of fresh shucked oysters. Now I showed you earlier the char grill oyster as well as the one that has spinach. But now we're getting to some of my favorites and boy, they have that comfort food flavor. One, which is a bienville, which is a creamy shrimp, onion, mushroom base, uh, sauce that goes on top. We serve it with several different items, as you probably know that by now, with this. And this is one of our more popular items because people, for some reason, love that bienville sauce. It's delicious. It is, isn't it? Listen, with all the sauce that you talked about was mm -hmm. on here, you said shrimp or you said crab? Shrimp, shrimp. 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 On the oyster. On the oyster. And this creamy sauce. That's it. That smells so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Let me ask That's you this. It. Do people eat the rest of this leftover sauce? They here? do. Now, I want to say one thing about this because there are people who have different allergies today. I'm not allergic. You may not be, mm -mm. but maybe some of your viewers are. That we do put mushrooms in that sauce. Really? Okay? Do I have mushrooms? Because I know I did eat there, pretty fast. You did. There are times for somebody like that. So I just want them to be aware of the fact that that is inside that sauce. Okay, well, all the mushrooms y'all can't eat, call me. I will eat them for you. There you, you. go. And then moving forward, we have the uh, bacon and cheese Monterey oyster. And then we top it with a jalapeno for a little special kick going with this one first. Is this the Monterey? That's the Monterey Orchard. See, because it has bacon on it. That's I right. like bacon Don't on eat the my shell bacon. Now. Oh, it's probably good too. We won't go that far now. You sure it came from Wizzles? That's mm -hmm. fresh good stuff That's right here. Right. Man, this is heaven on a plate What right do you think here. about the jalapeno? Well, I learned you gotta eat it all together, because mm -hmm. if you don't, that pepper will uh, yeah. burn. Yeah, we'll get up on you on it. It'll uncurl mm -hmm. my hat. I, I don't that. want that to happen. Why, did mm -mm. But this is really good because you have the great taste of bacon, all your cheese, on top of a delicious oyster. So right. this is this is a very southern way to eat your oyster. Mm -hmm. It's everything that you want. So I would say this bacon is bacon and the, cheese. Bacon southern and cheese. Can you eat on top of the oyster, right? Exactly. So this Very is the good. comfort food oyster here. That's it. Yeah. Some do. Some do do get it as an entree, but most people share because that's what we got. That's what we have it for is to share. That's why you have four of each, so you and a friend can come in and y'all can share one of these be my own friend when I come here to Wilson's. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to share these with anybody. So if you see me here eating while I'm at Cahaba Heights, guess what? You better say, hey, enjoy, but don't ask for these oysters. You can come over here and check them out. I'll meet you over here, but don't ask for my oysters. I'm going in. You go ahead. Head first. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. Godfather's Pizza is back in Birmingham. They're located off Lakeshore Parkway and they're still serving their classic combo pizza topped with lots of meats and cheese on fresh made dough. Godfather still have their taco pie and a variety of other dessert pizzas. You can even get made to order apps like breadsticks and garlic bread. Godfather's has a drive through and a great Monday through Friday lunch special. Now, Godfather's is still pizza you can't refuse. Want to cook like a chef? Then sign up today for cooking classes with Chef Cliff Holt of Little Savannah Restaurant. Now, twice a month, he hosts a market-to-kitchen class where you pick out items from Pepper Place and cook them in his restaurant. 
Now, Chef Cliff Hope will guide you through all of the steps of preparing the meal, and the best part, you'll be able to taste it along the way. So whether you're a foodie or simply enjoy an engaging environment, Little Savannah has the perfect cooking class for you. Book online at littlesavannah.com. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Comedian Joy, and I've been telling you about my food tours, Eat, Drink, Run. Well, now I got my very own bus. You see the one with my picture on it? So now I'm offering food tours every weekend and during the week. So if you're having a special occasion, corporate event, birthday party, girls night out, bachelorette party, go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and book your food tour. We also have improving tours starting August 30th. So go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and let's what? Eat, drink, and ride. The World Food Championships will be kicking off in November, and I want to introduce you to one of the contestants. He has a restaurant right here in Greenville, Alabama. I got to meet my friend, Brandon Burleson. I met Brandon, the Alabama native, about three years ago when he was participating in the sandwich category at World Food Championship in Orange Beach, Alabama. He placed in the top 10 for his BOT sandwich that was made with his grandmother's cornbread as his bread base. This year, he won the Wings and Wine cook-off event that I hosted earlier, which qualified him to compete this year. Now, since then, he's opened up his own restaurant in Greenville, Alabama, and it's called Plow and Anchor. There, he specializes in ribs and my favorite food, fried chicken. Asian, Southern, uh, kind of mix. Those two foods go hand in hand to me. I love the flavors out of, out of South Louisiana especially. I'm from Butler County. Um, was told that you know a restaurant can't work here, wouldn't work here, that, that wasn't uh, fast food. And, and we've known each other a while and, and I like to say why not. And, and uh, I don't like being told I can't do something. So what we got on the table is a nice little mix. Uh, we have our Creole fried chicken, which is our regular. Um, and it's just, it's finished with alaga syrup because I, I like using products from here in Alabama. Being from Alabama, I like showcasing everything that I can from Alabama. Uh, and then beside it, we have our hot version. Um, I love the saying, uh, hot damn. Uh, you know, grow up here and grandmothers say it, people say it. Um, and so this is our, our hot damn chicken. Um, also, I got a smoker out back. I love smoking meats, have for years. So we, we, have, we have our spare ribs here that we smoke. We have our collard greens made with andouille sausage and smoked pork uh, from our pork chops that we smoke in house. And then we have our white cheddar mac. Then over here, probably my favorite thing in the world outside of chicken gizzards is just a good fried chicken sandwich. Uh, so we use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They marinate in a brine uh, overnight. Um, the brine is just simple salt sugar brine, but then we kick it up a little bit with some Worcestershire and, and hot sauce. Uh, and then it gets breaded to let rest overnight. Breaded again to be fried, so it just has that double crunch to it. So super crunchy. The breading is a, it's a mixture of cornstarch and flour anyway, so I'm all about that, that texture. It can sit for a while. It locks in the flavor, locks in the juices, and, and keeps a nice crunchy uh, exterior, especially when we add the syrup or the hot sauce to it. Stay tuned, because after the break, I'm going to go in to all this delicious fried chicken from Plow and Anchor. Hello, ladies. It's that time of year again. Here's my dreaded scale, and I know many of you are not ready to get on there, but I'm Dr. Mia, and I want to help you reach your goals for the summer. Come in to me Bella Wellness Center so that I can write an individualized weight loss plan for you, and you can get those Lipo B12 injections so you have the energy and the increase in your metabolism. Please give us a call today at me Bella Wellness Center, 205-995-1009. Godfather's Pizza is back in Birmingham. They're located off Lakeshore Parkway and they're still serving their classic combo pizza topped with lots of meats and cheese on fresh made dough. Godfather still have their taco pie and a variety of other dessert pizzas. You can even get made to order apps like bread sticks and garlic bread. Godfather's has a drive through and a great Monday through Friday lunch specials. Now, Godfathers is still pizza you can't refuse. What's up, everybody?
everybody, this your girl, Comedian Joy, and I've been telling you about my food tours, Eat, Drink, Run. Well, now I got my very own bus. You see the one with my picture on it? So now I'm offering food tours every weekend and during the week. So if you're having a special occasion, corporate event, birthday party, girls night out, bachelorette party, go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and book your food tour. We also have improving tours starting August 30th. So go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and let's what? Eat, drink, and ride. Before the break, I took you to Greenville, Alabama to plow and anchor. Now, the restaurant owner is Chef Brandon Burleson, who is also participating in this year's World Food Championship. Now, before we talk about what he's making at this year's competition, I got to find out how's that chicken. Now, I got to tell you, Brandon, I came down here hungry because I've been eating your food since World Food Championship, and you always seem to amaze me. You cook my favorite thing over here. I don't even know where to start because all your food is so good. Well, I appreciate it. Like I said, I want to do a couple different kinds of chicken. Matter of fact, I need to finish this one off here. A little bit of nice alaga syrup over the chicken. All right, now let the Lord use you. So we, we go right over that. So do I need to go to this one first? Because see, you got this hot stuff over here, see? Yeah. I know how your hot is. You tried to get me last time. Yeah, I was going to say, it might, it might take away from the other. So. Man, this is so good with the double crunch on here. Then you got the sweetness over here. Mm, 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 mm. So we got that. I don't want you to get full just off a of wing, though, because we still got the, we got our, uh, House made chicken sandwich here. I guess everything's house made. Um, but yeah, it's a double double battered chicken thigh. Then we got it on Wickles Pickles with a little uh, ranch mayo. That thing right there. Let y'all see it. Looks so good. You want me to get the big piece over here? Uh, you get either piece you want. There's the rest of it. See, you you used to eating this. You here with the with sandwich. It. I need to get the big piece. I'm not That's down it. here that much. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm, it's so juicy. That crunch, the spices in here. So I, we might have messed up. We put the paper towels on the other table. Mm, listen, I'm just using this for TV because if it be me and you, I'd do this right here. <laughs> I hear you. That's just how good this sandwich is. Now, it got some heat to it, but it's not overly like setting your soul on fire. Oh, that one's just drizzled. We got, we got that. I saved that for you over here. All right, so what we got here is our LA Gold uh, sauce all over our smoked uh, smoked ribs. We smoke with cherry and pecan wood. Mmm. So that is delicious. So it's got a little bit of heat to the sauce, but it's really a little uh, sweet mustard balance to it. Now, I wasn't surprised by the taste of Brandon's chicken because we met at the World Food Championship a couple of years ago. Now, it's about to happen underway in November, but what is he going to make this year as he plays again in the chef's category? We've already had to turn the recipes in, but as usual, as we were talking about before, I never make the food before I get there. So that's the only reason we're not having it now is I got to keep that up. For the signature dish, we're going to do chicken baby backs. Uh, so we're going to make ribs out of chicken uh, using the chicken thighs. Um, and I'm going to mix a little Asian flair in with it. Uh. Make your way down to Orange Beach this weekend to see how Brandon did. And keep watching Down and Out with Comedian Joy, and I'll bring you those results. Want to cook like a chef? Then sign up today for cooking classes with Chef Cliff Holt of Little Savannah Restaurant. Now twice a month he hosts a market to kitchen class where you pick out items from Pepper Place and cook them in his restaurant. Now Chef Cliff Holt will guide you through all of the steps of preparing the meal and the best part, you'll be able to taste it along the way. So whether you're a foodie or simply enjoy an engaging environment, Little Savannah has the perfect cooking class for you. Book online at littlesavannah.com. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Comedian Joy, and I've been telling you about my food tours, Eat, Drink, Run. Well, now I got my very own bus. You see the one with my picture on it? So now I'm offering food tours every weekend and during the week. So if you're having a special occasion, corporate event, birthday party, girls night out, bachelorette party, go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and book your food tour. We also have improving tours starting August 30th. So go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and let's what? Eat, drink, and ride. I 
I grew up eating Shoney's, their breakfast buffet, but since they moved here to Fultondale, Alabama, I realized they had a lunch buffet and a dinner buffet with that good old double dip fried chicken. But guess what else they have over here in Fultondale? They got a bar. Absolutely, we offer more than breakfast. Also have a lunch buffet and a dinner buffet. Lunch buffet starts at 11 and ends at 4. Dinner buffet starts at 4 and ends when we close. Oh, it's all the favorites. Macaroni and cheese, got the green beans, and of course, fried chicken. Also on dinner buffet, we on Friday and Saturday nights, we have seafood, which is uh, real, real popular. Seafood stuffed crab, uh, fried fish, fried whole catfish, and some other seafood items, everything except crab clubs. Now, if you don't want to eat off of the buffet, they also have a menu. And one of the things Shonis is proud about is their all-American burger. All-American burger is all beef patty, lettuce, tomato, onions, server fries, or onion rings. All-American burger. Plus, we got the American flag on top. All-American, and it doesn't get any more America. Talk about making America great. This is how you do it at Shonis with this big old juicy hamburger right here. Absolutely. Now, you don't want me to eat the flag, no, man. No, man. I'm just going to wave it like this because I'm about to go in. Mm. That is delicious. This burger is good. It's well seasoned. You know, all these fresh ingredients on this burger. This thing is pretty heavy. How much meat is on this thing? About a pound? Two pounds? It's up there. It is. It is a great burger. Now, the burger was good, but I couldn't wait to taste Shoney's double battered fried chicken. And when they found out that I was coming, they had that bar piled high. I know you love chicken. Yes, I do. You're going to love the chicken here at Shoney's. Man, listen, I didn't even know y'all had fried chicken yeah. at Shoney's. Where have I been? The best. It, look, let me see. I'm going to tell you just the best or not. Mmm. Who knows some good chicken? This is good chicken. Yeah, this is some good chicken right here. Put it up against anybody. No, I'm with you on that. This is some yeah. good chicken right here. It's good. Now look, who recipe y'all stole? We, yeah, that's the secret. That is the secret. Your cousin? No. Grandma? No. First cousin? Maybe. You can tell me not uh, It's good. It's good chicken. I have to admit it really is. Now let me ask you this. When people come in here and eat your chicken, mm -hmm. you don't leave too much meat on the bones. No, no, you don't. You get chicken bones all over the place. That's what I'm saying. Now, if they start leaving too much meat on the bone, you have to put them out. Because right. you right. can't trust them customers. Nope. But y'all can trust me eating this good old chicken that's shown us. Oh, y'all didn't tell me they had chicken, y'all. We got chicken. But I know now. So I'm going to come down here, eat my breakfast, and come back for lunch and dinner and get this Absolutely. chicken. One more question for you. You mind if I bring my big person here? I may want to take home a few pieces. Well, you know, I will finish. Come on. <laughs> Come on down. We're going to see you guys in Fultondale right here at Shonen's, y'all. I eat my chicken like you can be me enjoy. I don't leave no meat on the bones. It's all gone. <laughs> After the break, I'm going to tell you about the happy hour specials at Shonen's Plus. What's on the menu for dessert? Are you frustrated with your natural hair, but want beautiful, luxurious natural hair that is perfect for work and play? Book your appointment at Haya Beauty, located in downtown Birmingham. Haya Beauty specializes in natural hair care, such as coils, curly sets, twist locks, coloring, and extensions. Haya Beauty has appointments Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can book online at HayaBeauty.com or 205-703-8022. Swamp Monster Barbecue in Hoover, Alabama has the best flash fried wings in town, along with their fall off the bone ribs that are cooked in a secret dry rub and homemade white barbecue sauce. Swamp Monster Barbecue also has farm raised gator bites. Swamp Monster Barbecue is open Monday through Saturday. You can dine in, order catering, or find the food truck for some monster butts and delicious sides. Swamp Monster BBQ is located in Hoover on Montgomery Highway, about two miles from the Galleria. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Comedian Joy, and I've been telling you about my food tours, Eat, Drink, Ride. Well, now I got my very own bus. You see the one with my picture on it? So now I'm offering food tours every weekend and during the week. So if you're having a special occasion, corporate event, birthday party, girls' night out, bachelorette party, go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and book your food tour. 
We also have improvement tours starting August 30th. So go to my website, diningoutwithcomedianjoy.com, and let's what? Eat, drink, and ride. Before the break, I took you to Shoney's in Fultondale, Alabama, where they have award-winning chicken and an all-American burger. Now, this Shoney's has a different layout. This Shoney also has a bar that is fully stocked and has some great happy hour specials. But if you also want to stop in for some dessert, you have got to try their famous strawberry pie. It's a strawberry pie. People from the childhood came into Shoney's and got the strawberry pie or another favorite, the hot fudge cake. And they it's really, really good and really, really popular. So tell me what makes this strawberry pie so popular? We use whole fresh strawberries. Actually a whole pint of strawberries goes into one pie. It's whole fresh strawberries with cream on top, served to your table, delicious. Some good stuff over here. I'm not in hell all that chicken and all them yeah. burgers. This is how I want to remember my visit at Shona's. Absolutely. Have some dessert. Now let me ask you, now which one of these would make me skinnier? The strawberry pie or this chocolate uh, it's gonna be a, right It's going to be a tie. It's going to be a tie. This one I'm eating when I'm trying to get rid of put on my swimsuit next year. Okay. Right. This should be healthy with the strawberries. Got the, got the fresh strawberries. Mmm. And the whole oh, pie. Now that's good right there. Yeah. And the whole pie has got over a pint of fresh strawberries. Man, these strawberries are something serious. These not the non-sweet strawberries. These are good. Y'all almost got to hook up somewhere with a good strawberry bone. You got it. You got it. And if fruit pie isn't your thing, this double decker brownie and ice cream mm -mm, is sure to satisfy your palate. This is the hot fudge cake. Extremely popular, extremely delicious. This hot fudge. Got the vanilla ice cream and a, a brownie type cake with whipped cream on top and a cherry. Extremely popular dessert. People really, really like it. It's popular. It's uh, basically a comfort food that people really enjoy. They remember from their childhood and they come over here to get it from us. Come in to get it and it is really delicious. This is a chocolate lover's dream right here. You got this creamy chocolate on the top. These two layers of chocolate brown and some ice cream. I just won't be left alone with this. I'm gonna go eat this in the side room because I don't want nobody to bother me. It is real good, delicious, delicious. It really is. I can't stop eating it. That's some good eats right there. Oh yeah. Good eats. It really is. Now order this one when you come here by yourself. So that way you don't have to share. But when you come with your family and friends, get the strawberry pie. Because then they ain't going to ask that much for it. of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Now, if you need more information on the segments that you've seen, please go to my website. That is DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com Now, if you happen to go to one of those restaurants, please tag me on social media. You can find me at Dining Out with Comedian Joy on Facebook and then Instagram and Twitter is simply Comedian Joy. Now, don't forget to hang out with me on the party bus as we eat, drinking, and riding. You can find those dates on my website as well. And remember, the places that I take it, the food is so good and what? Make you want to lay down. I love watching Dining Out with Comedian Joy.